I think uh, going back to um, Cold Yerans and, and Igorots, uh, I kind of want to honor some people that we know, like anybody that are either in our uh, in our own like B box or communities or anything like that. But anybody that you guys know or have heard of, anything like that, that have done anything amazing, like let's give them a shout just because I mean they right. deserve it and we should be recognizing and praising them. Yeah, please it's... leave stuff in the comment section as yeah. well, you know, like for people you want to recognize because we would love to lift them up. Um, yeah. A name that I can think of. Should, should I just throw out a name? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, Kieran, right? All right. Who... But yeah, she got tenure, right? She got tenure um, in her in the, in the university that she's tenure working shoot, at. Yeah, yeah, and that's amazing. Right. Oh uh, that gosh. is that is big. That is big. That Very is a big amazing. deal. Yeah. Not to mention that she's like just amazing in terms of her work with the community and Hell uh, yeah. making. For for I you know IP people indigenous folks out there and and keeping ICAT, people yep. aware yep. yeah right. with ICAT, exactly ICAT ICAT yeah just uh, keeping people aware of, of the ongoings uh, of indigenous people's rights and mm -hmm. and whatnot and she I noticed that she works a lot with like uh, different community groups all around San Diego mm. and uh, no that's amazing awesome. See, yeah. who else? Uh, else? Any other names? Anybody um, else? Anybody can think of? Thing. We should jam on uh, the Katan, uh, Jennifer. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's talk there about her uh, food. Oh, yeah. That's right. You know, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in the um, Cali, Cali, just in general, yeah, they can make it. <laughs> yeah, Southern California. <laughs> Southern they can, Cali. They can get there. So where, okay. where are they based out of her name? And, LA, uh, right? Los Angeles? In LA, yeah. Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Kala Joe Catering. Kalajo, that's Iboloi. Yes, because she's Iboloi. But yeah, they got they got big. They they. I remember when they first announced their uh, catering business, like uh, maybe last year, two years ago, twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. This is a year after uh, we met them in IIC, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, cool, they're a catering business. And then all of a sudden, it just just like mm -hmm. got know, bigger. Right? Yeah, just like um. <laughs> Because I've seen a lot of people, you know, start a social media mm -hmm. uh, uh, account just for their, like, side business or whatever. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't really go, like, their growth, what to me, was um, was something that was like, dude, like, good job. Because, <laughs> like, very exponential, like, very big within not only the Igorot community, but, like, Filipino community. They're They're getting, like, a lot of business from there, right? Right. And what's right. really good about them is they're still, like, still, still very active in in Bebop too. Like, just last week was it where they had the, they had they were, uh, Bebop LA had a like a function and then Kala Joe was part of it. So, like, awesome stuff, man. Awesome, yeah. awesome stuff. So it is awesome, man. Like... Kala Joe Catering in Southern California. Hmm. Yeah, right. So go check them out. I mean, they look, the food looks amazing. God. So if if I was there, I'd, oh my god, I'd definitely try it. But um, yeah, the yeah, specialty our, is ube. Our borders aren't even open. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I Too love bad. that man. Too bad. <sighs> ube. Um, but yeah, that's really catching on. Like with all the foodies now, like people are recognizing Filipino food finally, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them, uh, a lot of the Filipino foods, especially with ube and it, you know the desserts, mm -hmm. people are just they're totally catching on to it. So that's pretty cool, man. All right. Um, yeah. I guess uh, you know I I, I do want to <laughs> honor my wife, my wife Wendy. Oh yeah. She's yeah, yeah. yeah she got um. She got into a uh, well. She's been helping out with uh, vaccination drives, mm. uh, especially particularly for undocumented folks. And um, of course, she, the first people that kind of brought that awareness to her are our people, right? So you know, out here in the UK, and so she uh, uh, found out how she can make some connections in regards to uh, setting up. Um, uh, Dr vaccination drive for 
folks to protect them because over here in the UK, it's been, although doctor's offices aren't supposed to ask whether you're documented or not, the staff training in some areas has been lacking. So then, you know, because they don't, some of the staff don't recognize that when someone comes in there and they're undocumented, they still ask them all that information when they don't need to, especially in our system, which is NHS, right? It's public. So uh, they, all those folks, they wanted to get vaccinated, but they just didn't know how. And so it was nice that uh, Wendy was able to kind of find those connections. And so she got highlighted uh, on BBC. And they, they did a whole segment, not just on her, but just on the situation in general, mm -hmm. uh, in regards to uh, the NHS uh, folks. You know, the do some of the doctors' offices not really, um, m not really doing their best to train their staff to understand that when undocumented folks come in. And mm -hmm. you know, whether you have papers or not, people who want the vaccination, they should be able to get it especially if it's to kind of like um, help support our, our, our just the community in general uh, to kind of stop this, uh, slow down this pandemic. So in your countries, are you finding that uh, we're really at the point of resistance with, uh, well, in terms of like moving forward with the uh, pan, uh, with the vaccinations, or is it like a systemic thing about like just being able to distribute? Uh, in, in this country, actually, um, in the UK, it's almost 85% now. We're at 85% vaccinated. Uh, especially after that whole spike with the um, Delta variant. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's weird because it spiked up and then just kind of just dropped, right? Mm -hmm. And so we were just talking about this earlier, but uh, a lot of the reason for the drop was a couple of things. One, the vaccination, uh, but also a change in the culture. So people wearing masks, actually socially distancing and making the choice, hey, if I'm sick, whether, whether, whatever that sickness may be, they're deciding to keep, you know, to stay home. And also, of course, there's the option of staying home for work, too. Now, that's really more, more and more companies are doing that or they are yeah. sticking to it. So there's a lot of reasons uh, why. The Delta variant, although it, it rose, it, we had so many cases that just rose, it just kind of dropped and some people are figuring that in the u.s it's the same thing's going to happen over there and certain states depending on like how people maintain that culture of awareness in regards to social distancing or whatever wearing masks or or just uh you know staying home when they need to how about canada <clears throat> i think our rates are similar i want to say it's in the 70s but i might be making that up. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. Um, 70 in such a big old country, man. That's 70s. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Big country, but not that big of a population. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody that's spread true. apart. Yeah. What about the states yeah. right now? What's the situation? Depends on the location. Uh, like, uh, Fair enough. like Bay Area, that's where, cool. where, where, where I live, uh, uh, at least one vaccination was pretty high, at least 75%, uh, at least with one. Uh, but nice. uh, but other parts of the country, it's a little bit different. Um, yeah. And so I think the it, because of that variation, then we have different spikes all over the place. So fully vaccinated by population in the United States right now is 50%. Okay. Well, they're on, I guess they're, they're on their way, I guess, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's much not bigger bad. population the whole than state us, of, so that's pretty good. Or yeah, actually, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me correct that. That's the whole state of 50% of the state of California is fully vaccinated. Let me see what the state. And it's also 50% of the United States is fully vaccinated. Overall. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I was looking at the stats so for the Philippines. Bad. As bad as I thought. Oh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, was looking, I was looking at some of the stats for the Philippines, and it seems like it says out of 12 million people received, they received the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine in the Philippines, and, the con, uh, and roughly 9.8 million 
have been fully vaccinated from the virus. So I guess they're on their way to um, out of the country peace. aims to vaccinate 58 million by the end of the year. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I think, yeah, for us, total population 71 has had one dose. Fully vaccinated is just under 60. So oh, but that's going to happen soon, though. That's also getting soon. there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you guys are higher than most of America. So uh, I think it depends, uh, actually, <laughs> per province as well. I think some provinces are doing better than others. Oh, it's yeah. it's yeah. somewhat similar. Yeah. But it is what it is. Um, speaking about, uh, this, this, like, it, this is, he hasn't done anything recently that is of note. <clears throat> um, but just going on the recent topic of uh Nas Daily and um and and Up Along Ud, uh I wanted to highlight like one of the most prominent artists in Baguio, freaking so under so underrated. Uh what's his name? Um Jordan. Uh, Jordan uh, Mangosan, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. Like, yeah. So okay. underrated. So I don't think he's so underrated. underrated. He's underrated for people who don't know him. <laughs> so a right. lot of the right. ones that Over. do know him, like I mean, we know, we know him. Yeah. But uh, yes, I know but, what you mean. Right. Yeah. 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 I have one of his pieces in my home actually, and that's, really. Uh, oh my yeah. gosh. It's a pretty cool story. Um, I saw one of his pieces at a cafe, and I said, "Hey, I wanna." I want to take one of those things home because it was just really cool to have a Igor artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, because it was a, um, uh, what you call it, consignment, uh, uh, said, well, I just said, hey, I want to buy it off of uh, the, I just want to get it off of the uh, the, the artist. Well, he's, mm -hmm. not, he's not that far away. And so well, I actually went on a journey trying to look for him. It took it a whole day, actually. Ended up finding <laughs> him at a, had the some Malin? sort of uh, like a, a like a, a another cafe um, across clear across Baguio, but it took the whole day to kind of like look for him. We went from place to place, and we were just missing him by just like like uh, oh. this, this this much. And then eventually, someone just had his cell phone number and like called him and said, "Hey, you know these guys are looking for you," you know. Uh, and so we stumbled upon him at this uh, one cafe, and you know, th there's a whole cool scene of like cafes and music scene out there. Yeah. And he drives this really cool like VW Bug, all oh, decked yeah. in Igorot stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, he was actually quite surprised that someone was seeking him out. It was just really cool. <laughs> really? Uh, I think yeah. he's more he's more regularly at the Tam Awan Village now. Yes. Yes. He's usually yeah. there. Or at yep. least he's highlighted there. Or something. Yes, actually, that's yeah. That was one of the places where uh, I was I was looking for him at, and you know that place is all huge. Tamawan. I mean, Tamawan yeah, yeah. Village. Uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I forgot what cafe we found him in. But it was just really cool to be able to like you know check out the whole Baguio scene and <laughs> and, and and talk to people. Um, that's true. There's cafes everywhere, and it's like it's yeah. such a thing there. Like that's awesome. Yeah. It really is. It really Igorot, is. Uh, Igorot coffee, man. Oh, and the Igorot coffee. Wow. It just, it, it's definitely got its own vibe uh, to oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's um, strong. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's good stuff. I wish. Uh, get some That's how the old folks are able to freaking talk for so long into the, into the middle <laughs> yeah, of the night. They don't you know? sleep, these people. And the old folks yeah. don't sleep, you know? Look at us. <laughs> well, Mark. Mark over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's only four a.m. here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Um, um, okay, I have one more person I, I want oh. to to. Highlight. I want to add uh, another person too that I just found. I'll, I'll okay. do one too, just quickly okay. as well. Uh, I'm gonna share a screen uh, because uh, I I I blew these guys up on my Instagram. Oh, okay. um, but this guy, Jeff Cab uh, Cab Cablog. Jeff Kablog, like, look at this, look at this oh, art, wow. man. Oh, right, right, that is awesome. Like, it's like, look at it. It, th they're huge too. Where is and he? So wow. much detail really? and use of color. Where is he? And sorry, where is where? he? Yeah. Um, where is he? I, I'm pretty sure he's in Baguio because Danai, Danai knows him. Oh, um, oh wow. And cool. so, wow, look at Jesus. that. Yeah. 
Look that how big awesome. this is. Look at, like, wow. look at the wow. textures. Look at the texture. Like, is it that's paint? Amazing. I don't remember. Wow. I'm not sure. Sorry? Is it paint? What is it? Yeah, it's paint. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Like, amazing. Oil paints? Like, th that's oil? Or... Um, I want to say it is because it, it it looks it looks like it, but oh, actually, yeah, it, it might actually be in his uh, hashtags. What he uses his media. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Could be. Let's see. Uh, could, could, it be? Is... could it be? Pen and okay, ink. Well, this is wow. pen. <laughs> All pen, pen sketch. Pen, wow. and ink. Oh. pen sketch. But this one is uh. Uh, oil painting. There you go. Oil wow. painting. painting. Man, yep. this guy's awesome. Yeah. Wow. But relatively unknown. Look at this. He's only got 3,000 followers. So for the people on Spotify, repeat his handle again. His uh, his Instagram, you need to follow it, is uh, Jeff Kablog. Jeff Kablog. J-E-F-C-A-B-L-O-G. He's, nice. he's got a website, too, as well. Okay, I'm, I'm going to track him on my, my Insta right now. I'm tracking him. Yeah, yeah, me too. Look at this. We can and then again, the for... Get connected with him. For our previous mm -hmm. ones for the people on Spotify. So we did um Jordan Malasan. Uh, mm -hmm. And he's usually at the Mauan Village. Followed. Um, who else? Oh, that's pretty cool. And then Kieran. Uh uh Kala how, Catering, how do you spell Jeff's name? Wendy. Jeff Jeff Kablog. G A F C A B L O G. Yeah. Just, right, just Kala Joe Catering. And then, I don't know California. if that's his last name, but it might be Jeff. C A blog. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure his last name. Blog. That's his last name. Kablog. Probably Kablog. His last name. Probably. Okay, okay just yeah. in case, I, 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 I might, you know, I will Paulo. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, Wendy. Oh yeah, Wendy. Wendy. Jeff Kablog. That beautiful Wendy's... lady. <laughs> so when's Wendy gonna? Uh, she is she gonna run for MP over there? <laughs> She's not really interested in that part of politics because, you know, like, uh, she doesn't want to have to deal with being split between constituents and all that kind of stuff. She'd oh, rather just, she, she, her, her personal feeling is, and, and mine too, is that, like, if you want to get the work done, you just got to be on the ground, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, be, like, like That's if right. you want to become bishop, for example, sometimes as bishop, you're not able to do all the stuff that you did as a priest, you know? Mm -hmm. but you're better yeah. off just staying as a priest and just, doing that work there but the other guy i wanted to uh uh add was um it's an ifugao man uh he's he's a captain and i think oh. he just took over the philippine version uh it's called the naval special operations group it's like the philippine navy oh. seal and his name yeah, is yeah. uh captain dwight dolnuan and um uh, we, oh, we know the dolnuan family from 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 la and yeah, Ooh. I think he's from Ifugao. And uh, I just saw this because I remember read somebody posting something up about it. So I went and, and searched. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. Because uh, I think the original commander ended his, his, uh, his, his command in 2019, uh, July 4th of 2019. But this article is like in February 2021. So they must have had done the change like just just recently but i think that's amazing like in the military i mean they're really mm. uh that's that's high up there man mm. so but you know we, uh, philippine igorots have a, a long history in, in in military everywhere it seems like yeah. you know in, yeah. in the u.s navy obviously but uh also also in the uh the, back forces, in the philippines man. yeah philippine forces that's uh pretty amazing a big big community in the mountain province are like supplying their their sons to go to um the south to fight against the uh against oh, the wow. what's it called ISIS out there yeah yeah you know it's it's tough when I see uh all these postings of you know when somebody's passed away from you know, yeah from fighting out there yeah from fighting 